there are lush trees and birds chirping. God. In an open space on a high mountain, a group of primitive people covered with black hair were kneeling on the ground, praying and praising towards the sky in admiration and awe. Su Chi looked at the primitive people below with a thoughtful expression on his face. At this moment, a reminder sounded from my mind. This game is about to end, do you want to archive it? Su Chi pondered, save it. The archive is successful, please name it. After thinking about it, he said, let's call it prehistoric civilization. Successful naming, start to return, as the voice fell. So Ki eyes flashed, and she returned to her hometown with a big bed. Looking at the familiar house, Su Chi looked a little dazed. When you are in a trance, the harvest of this game has been distributed, as follows, prehistoric human physique. In an instant, Su Chi, who was a weak physique of modern people, quickly became stronger. Muscles become firmer, arms look full of strength. This is... Su Chi was shocked. Clenching his fist, he only felt that he was full of power at the moment, even the special forces might not be able to match him. But think about it, it's right. Prehistoric humans deal with beasts every day, so their physical fitness is naturally strong, and a modern human should be fine with one punch. Is there anything else you can get from deducing the world? Su so Chi's eyes were full of surprise and then there was a desire to live in his eyes. It has been three months since I traveled to this modern world, which is almost no different from my previous life. Originally, he had already planned it before. He was going to make a lot of money by relying on his foresight. No matter how bad it was, he could be a copywriter and become a great writer, but he found out. This body is actually suffering from lung cancer, it is still in the advanced stage and the cancer cells have spread to the whole body. Su Chi was desperate, but just when he was about to die in his hometown, the system for deducing the world line appeared. The direction of the world, the future, there are countless possibilities every minute and every second, and this system can deduce those unknown possibilities. The previous prehistoric world was a systematic deduction. Cough cough. Suddenly, he raised his hand to cover his mouth and coughed. Spreading out his hand, he saw the bright red dazzling eyes on it. Su Chi was very calm. Sure enough, even if he obtained the physique of a prehistoric human, his cancer could not be cured, and the condition would be alleviated at best, but... If a world line like having superpowers is deduced later, is it possible for me to gain superpowers? Will my cancer be cured? So Ki's eyes lit up, and she felt a sense of urgency in her heart. Just when you want to continue the deduction, you find that the next deduction will take 24 hours. Su so Chi. After being speechless for a while with this strange narration, he fell into contemplation and began to think about his previous prehistoric experience. Thinking of being regarded as gods by those prehistoric humans in prehistoric times, and some things he did casually, Su so Chi shook his head, not caring at all. Deduction and deduction, in the end, it's just deduction, everything is fake, what kind of is you? I'm just an ordinary person. Su so Chi smiled bitterly. Good news. Good news, Professor. We have unearthed a prehistoric site. With a bang, the door was slammed open. A young man with glasses full of scholarly atmosphere rushed in from outside the office with a face full of excitement. Xiao Zhang, you are not too young, why are you so reckless? Sitting in front of a brown desk, Professor Chen with grey hair raised his head to read the literature and frowned at him. Because he was too attentive in reading the documents and Zhang Hao spoke very fast, he couldn't hear what the other party said for a while. No, Professor, listen to me. Zhang Hao gasped and started to explain hastily. After half a minute. What, you said you found a ruin, or it was more than 10,000 years ago. Professor Chen's eyes widened. Zhang Hao nodded, that's right, Professor, after our preliminary inspection, the ruins are at least 10,000 years old. Where is it, take me there. Professor Chen's face was flushed, 
and he squeezed Zhang Hao's arm without saying a word, his face full of excitement. The ruins of ten thousand years ago. This may allow him to explore some prehistoric things, such as some information secrets of prehistoric humans. What's more, some prehistoric truths may be unearthed, such as the cause of the world-destroying flood. Walk. He pulled Zhang Hao and hurriedly ran outside. After a few hours, Professor Chen took Zhang Hao to the site where the ruins were excavated. It was a quaint and messy cave. Some staff were cleaning up gravel and other objects. There were security tapes and security guards at the entrance of the cave. Some onlookers, as well as well-informed reporters who arrived early, surrounded the entrance of the cave even in the face of the sun, trying hard to go in and have a look. When they saw Professor Chen get out of the car, some reporters who recognized him immediately lit up and ran over quickly. Professor Chen, Professor Chen, I heard that you have excavated relics with a history of more than 10,000 years. Is this true? Professor Chen, is it inconvenient to disclose it? You. Listening to the questions and the microphones that came over, especially looking at the cameras that seemed to be broadcasting live, Professor Chen's face shook. Who the leaked the news, what a nonsense. The ruins are still being excavated, and we don't know yet. After explaining something casually, he squeezed forward and said, Please let me. Professor Chen, can we go in and shoot? The audience also wants to see what's inside, Professor Chen. The reporters who were stopped by the guards all showed unwillingness on their faces, and shouted repeatedly behind Professor Chen. Professor Chen shook his head and ignored the reporters. He was about to enter the cave with Zhang Hao. But at this time, a staff member in his twenties came over and said with some embarrassment, Professor, there will be a few reporters coming in. I hope you can show them around. Nonsense, the ruins haven't been sorted out yet, where can they go in and visit? What if this ruins the ruins? Professor Chen reprimanded. But Professor. The staff looked helpless, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com raised a finger and pointed to it, the meaning is self-evident. Professor Chen frowned and sighed in his heart. When he couldn't refuse, he had to say sternly, you go and tell them that you can only take pictures later, and you can't touch them, or you can only ask them to go out. The staff nodded and hurried to call someone. After a while, a man and two women who were dressed in different clothes and obviously did not belong to the same TV station, and a few staff members carrying cameras walked over. After admonishing the three reporters not to walk or touch randomly, Professor Chen led them and followed the staff in front. As they walked, the reporters behind them also started their respective introductions. Audience friends, this is the scene of the prehistoric ruins. A dignified-looking female reporter who was affiliated with the government raised her hand and gestured around the cave. There are some lamps hanging in the cave, and the bright lights illuminated here. Qin Feng looked at the camera and smiled again, Here, I will lead you to discover the secrets of prehistoric humans. Netizens in the audience who used computers, mobile phones, or sat in front of the TV could not help but be amazed. Damn it! The ancient ruins from 10,000 years ago, awesome. I'm really curious about what's in it. Same curiosity. As more and more people paid attention to the matter of prehistoric ruins, it soon became a hot search. Netizens are very curious about what is in this prehistoric ruin. As we went deeper and deeper, something appeared on the cave wall, which was some frescoes carved with knives and axes. This seems to be some sacrifice scene. Professor Chen frowned slightly. Qin Feng and other reporters also began to explain in a timely manner, Audience friends, we can see that there are some carvings on the rock wall of this cave, which seem to be images of prehistoric human beings holding sacrifices. This mural is full of mystery, and it seems to reveal some secrets from ancient times. As the camera lens zoomed in, everyone could see exactly what was on those quaint murals. I saw a sun shining on the first fresco. In the second painting, in addition to the sun, the land, trees, river, and clouds are also drawn. In the last third painting, 
a group of small people appeared, all kneeling on the ground, worshipping and praying towards the shining sun in the sky. Looking at these three paintings, netizens frowned. What does it mean? The reporters present were also puzzled. Another female reporter from Mango TV, after thinking about it, turned to look at Professor Chen, and showed a sweet smile. She said, Professor Chen, as an expert in prehistoric archaeology, do you have any insights into these paintings? Looking at the past, even the audience and netizens were very curious. Professor Chen, who was frowning and pondering, heard the words and shook his head, there are too few clues, so I can only talk about my personal understanding based on experience. Oh! The female reporter from Mango Channel lit up, and hurriedly moved closer to the microphone. This sun may represent God. Professor Chen pondered. What? A look of surprise appeared on a person's face. God? They couldn't believe it at first, but then they looked at the murals, and at the little people who were worshipping, their faces showed a sudden look. It really looks like this. Professor Chen went on to explain, the first painting should be a god. There is only a in the painting, and there is nothing else in the rest. But in the second painting, apart from god, there are more objects such as land and trees. Obviously. This should be God who created the world. Creation created the world. An exclamation sounded. Looking at their surprised faces, Professor Chen said helplessly, Prehistoric humans, it's normal to think that the world was created by gods. When everyone heard this, they nodded in agreement. Yes, how could there be a in this world? Professor Chen smiled slightly and explained, the third painting may represent the picture of God creating human beings, and human beings are sacrificing him. The netizens showed a look of surprise on their faces, and looked at Professor Chen who was talking with some admiration. Mango Channel female reporter Yu Bing praised, as expected of Professor Chen, he thinks more than us. Then Professor Chen, why is this a sun? Could it be that a sun really descended on the earth in prehistoric times? The audience also looked strange. Professor Chen shook his head, this sun may be some kind of simulacrum. It may symbolize authority, it may be a person, or it may be a UFO, who knows? People? UFO? Everyone was shocked, and then doubts arose in their hearts. So, what did people worship long ago? Just when they were wondering, Professor Chen suddenly sighed. What happened to Professor Chen? Yu Bing asked suspiciously. Professor Chen shook his head and sighed, Unfortunately, there are only three paintings here, it would be nice if there were more. How? Everyone wondered. I wonder if you have heard of the Great Prehistoric Flood. Great Prehistoric Flood? Whether it was in front of the TV or the person in front of the computer and mobile phone, everyone was stunned when they heard the words, and then their expressions changed slightly. Netizens were talking about it. A great prehistoric flood? I know that. It seems to be a worldwide flood a long time ago. There are legends of this great flood all over the world. I heard that there are dozens of stories alone. The above is true, the great flood of world destruction. I know that too. At this time, Professor Chen pointed at several cameras and explained to the audience all over the country with a smile, this mural reminds me of some things, some interesting myths and stories that will happen later if they develop according to the murals. For example, the great flood that destroyed the world in prehistoric times. I think everyone knows the story of the great flood in our country, so I won't tell you. Here. Let's talk about the legend of the Great Flood in the West. In the West, the most widely spread is the record in the Bible. The original text of the Bible describes it like this. God saw that man's wickedness on earth was extremely great, so he announced that he would use a flood to destroy all living creatures with flesh and breath on earth, and all of them would die. Looking at the curious crowd, Professor Chen continued, there is also a record of this Great Flood in the Maya's Holy Scripture. The Pope of Jing. Legend, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com God created human beings at the beginning of the world, but
but this was a not so smooth experiment. The gods first made statues out of wood and asked them to speak, but these wooden people later lost his favor because they forgot the existence of the Creator. So, the gods decided to launch a flood to destroy mankind. The most interesting point here is that God is mentioned in these myths and legends. Although we all know that God cannot exist in this world. Perhaps, this is not necessarily an alien. Professor Chen made a joke. Reporter Qin Feng said, then Professor Chen, has there really been a worldwide flood in history? She handed the microphone to Professor Chen. Professor Chen nodded, according to some existing traces and clues, it is very likely that a great flood really happened in prehistoric times. At present, there are several speculations. One is the flood caused by the melting of prehistoric glaciers, the other is the rise of sea water caused by the movement of land plates, and it may also be caused by the impact of asteroids. Of course, there is no concrete evidence to confirm these, and everything is just our guess. At the end, Professor Chen laughed, compared to superstition, we should still believe in science and analyze this disaster with reason. Others laughed lightly when they heard the words, thinking that what Professor Chen said was reasonable. However, they also had deep doubts in their hearts. What happened in prehistoric times? What happened to the Great Flood? As more and more people watched this incident, it spread more and more widely. Not only did the related content quickly top the hot search list, but it even spread abroad. Just when the internet became more and more noisy, Su Qi, who had slept for a while, coughed a few times, and opened her eyes tiredly on the bed. She turned on her phone and looked at the time, and found that it was past five o'clock in the evening. It will take more than ten hours to play again. Looking at the time on the phone, Su Qi secretly sighed. Just when he was worried about time, thinking about how to spend it quickly. You wake up, but what you don't know is that when you wake up, the system has some small actions. Under the inexplicable expression on So Qi face, the sound of prompting continued. Original network starts to generate, the generation is successful. The prehistoric civilization archive has started editing and uploading. Uploading successfully. Su Qi was taken aback. You are stunned, you are surprised by this. At the same time, you get the function of collecting audience points. Su Qi gradually became sluggish. After a while, when he figured out what happened, he just felt his head buzzing. The system turned the archive of prehistoric civilization into a movie and uploaded it. What the is this? He was stunned. Although in the deduced world, he can come according to his imagined image, and his body can even be immune to all damage. The image is simply a high-dimensional form. But, none of this can change the fact that he has no power of his own. So, the in the eyes of prehistoric people is actually just a weak chicken and an ordinary person. If this is accidentally exposed, so key scalp is numb. Absolutely will die. 1756 Zhang Xian is a teenager who is addicted to games, but after the new regulations on anti-addiction for minors appeared, he was on the verge of collapse. However, there are policies from above and countermeasures from below. Zhang Xian found some masters that he admired. At this time, he was swiping a web page with the title on it. The 60-year-old 60-year-old lady used Zhao Yun to get five kills in the ranking at three o'clock in the morning and the penguins lost their voices. The following comments appear one by one. What made the 60-year-old 60-year-old woman kill five in the middle of the night? What made the internet wanted doppelganger in two places? What made the old man who died more than ten years ago revive kryptonite? All kinds of identity verification, it can be said that the eight immortals cross the sea, each showing their magical powers. Netizens laughed. Ye Ching Hui. Instantly recalled the anti-addiction when I was a child, another good news. My mother is Chung Shan Zhao Zilong. 666, I'm going to die from laughing upstairs. I've lost all my dentures. Ha ha ha.
the person who used the fugitive ID to verify is also a genius. By the way, can I get the money for reporting the fugitive's game account? It should be possible to form a group. After all, we have provided clues to the arrest, haha. <laughs> Sixty-year-old grandma, why can't I kill Zhao Yunmu at three in the morning? I don't deserve it. Then I'll go. Netizens laughed. Zhang Xian's spirit was shocked, and he was instantly shocked, and his mouth opened wide. Both are nine-year compulsory education, why are they so excellent? With a look of admiration on his face, he clicked on the search engine, ready to search how the seniors of Xiu are operated. But at this time, he searched and searched, and he accidentally found a website called yuanyuan.com. Original Network What? Seeing this strange title, Zhang Xian was curious and clicked in. A very simple website appeared. At the top is a dark area to be played, and in the middle is a selection of video resources. Currently, there is only a strange prehistoric civilization file. At the bottom of the website, there is a large white comment area, in which no one has spoken yet. Prehistoric civilization, what is this? Movie. But what's so good about prehistoric civilization? Zhang Xian pouted. Of course, he said so, driven by curiosity, he clicked on this prehistoric civilization movie. The movie started playing, and a line of white writing slowly appeared on the pitch black screen. Welcome to the Earth 15,000 years ago, 15,000 years ago? Before Zhang Xian's eyes showed doubts, the dark picture suddenly flashed, and his vision appeared high in the sky. Below is a scene of green mountains and green waters. There are lush trees everywhere, and the original breath is blowing. Zhang Xian was startled just by looking at it. Not only him, but the people who happened to be here at home and abroad all showed a look of astonishment on their faces. What a clear picture! Omega, which company's work is this? The picture of this movie actually gave them an immersive feeling, and the light picture smashed all the movies on the market. For a while, the thought of continuing to watch naturally arose in everyone's heart. At this moment, an emotionless voice of explanation accompanied the subtitles. Where did humans first appear? Following the words, doubts and curiosity appeared in Zhang Xian's heart. The next second, the camera descended from the sky and landed at the foot of a magnificent mountain surrounded by four rivers, and then the camera gradually rose towards the top of the mountain. Along the way, all kinds of tall and straight trees, as well as an animal that is both unfamiliar and familiar, made the audience's eyes widen. America in a small room in a church, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com was searching for information and accidentally clicked on Father Charlie on the origin. At this time, his brows gradually wrinkled while watching the movie. These animals. Father Charlie murmured. Not only was he amazed, but there were also a few barrages floating across the screen. Damn it, I seem to have seen several long extinct animals, and they're so real. The special effects funds must be burning fiercely, right? Another person echoed, unbelievable, my god, this is so real. Some people are amazed, and some people are surprised. They think that the picture of this movie is so good that they can't even see that the extinct animals are made by special effects. Hey, upstairs, why are you talking so weird, like a foreigner? Hey man, what did you say? Before some netizens were wondering how some people used strange words, they discovered an even more strange place. The closer you get to the top of the mountain, the rarer the animals are. It seems that those animals are afraid of something and deliberately avoid the area on the top of the mountain. At this moment, the camera stopped and stopped in a bushy position. Just as netizens were puzzled, two figures with strong hair ran over one after the other. When they got close, Zhang Xian and the others couldn't help exclaiming. Primitive. Taking a closer look at the figure, the two primitive people who are chasing are a man and a woman. The male primitive man grabbed the female primitive man, and then, under the watchful eyes of Zhang Xian and others, the two danced and communicated. Adon, 
I want to go there. The primitive woman pointed to the top of the mountain. No, you can't go to the place of God. Adam looked terrified. God? The audience smiled and thought it was a little funny. However, although they didn't think there was any in their hearts, they were still very curious about what the gods and the two primitive people were. At this time, the primitive woman had a look of reluctance on her face, danced and shouted, and the words translated into the eyes of netizens were. Delicious fruit, I want to eat it. Everyone was stunned, fruit? What fruit? They are very curious. Hawa, no, God. Adon was a little scared when he heard the words. Some time ago, he and Hava came to the top of the mountain by accident, and then noticed that there was no beast activity on the top of the mountain. At first, he thought that there was a powerful beast entrenched here, and other animals did not dare to break in here. They panicked for a while at first, but then they found that there seemed to be nothing on the top of the mountain. Not only that, but there were also fruit trees planted in the area on the top of the mountain, and the trees were bearing some delicious fruits. Before long, they were already reluctant to give up this place where there was no harassment by beasts, and there was food every day. But just when they got carried away and regarded this place as their own territory, the mysterious voice that made them panic and fear appeared. I can only hear voices, but I can't see any shape. That existence they call God who thinks that he is mysterious, irresistible, and the creator of everything. The fruits they ate were planted by God, and the stature and wisdom of them who ate the fruits improved a little. But since they learned that those trees are the things of God, some of them dare not go to pick them privately, even if the fruit tastes very good, especially the fruit of one of the trees is very comfortable to eat. Only today, Hawa couldn't bear it anymore and wanted to eat fruit. Seeing Adam's disapproval, Hawa ran towards the orchard after shouting a few times. The camera moved with the two, but at this time hundreds of netizens didn't pay attention to it because they were attracted by one person's comment. Don't you think the names of these two prehistoric humans are a bit strange? What's wrong? Adan? Hawa? It's very common, nothing strange. Most of them don't understand, but some people suddenly thought of something. Inside the church, Father Charlie, who was sitting in front of his laptop, frowned upon hearing these two names. Adon, Hawa. After repeating it, he only felt a little familiar, and suddenly he was stunned and thought of something. In the Quran, there are two names, Adon and Hawa, and the translation into the Bible is. Adam, Eve. Thinking of this, he looked surprised. Between crackling, he posted his guesses in the comment area. Adam and Eve. When this comment appeared, Zhang Xian and other netizens were taken aback. Most people have heard of these two names. The ancestors of human beings in Western legends are called Adam for men and Eve for women. According to legend, human beings were born from these two people. When he said this, everyone immediately started talking. The ancestor of mankind? What the hell? Zhang Xian in the room was astonished and thought of something, and commented, When you talk about the ancestors of humans in the West, I suddenly think of the ancestors of humans in the East. In the West, Eve seems to be called the mother of all living beings, and we also have a mother of all living beings in the East. Her name is, Nuwa. Eve. Nuwa. Are these two names a bit similar? He suddenly made a terrifying point. They are also the first ancestors, one is called Eve and the other is called Nuwa, so does Adam correspond to Fuxi. Adam, Eve. Fuxi, Nuwa. Could it be that there really existed a pair of human ancestors long ago? Everyone felt their scalps go numb. At this moment, it is obvious that what is in front of them is just a movie but the heavy sense of history due to this association makes them instantly interested in this movie. Suddenly, someone said. And many more. Adon and Hava are the words of Adam and Eve, so isn't the God in their mouths. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and surprise flashed in their eyes. Father Char's hand shaking while holding the cup, 
the coffee swayed out of the cup and sprinkled on his thigh, the pain came, but he didn't care at all, instead he looked at the picture very seriously. Zhang Xian commented curiously, if there is a in this movie, then Adon and Hawa are created by God. Definitely. Plus one. After the discussion was over, everyone's attention returned to the movie, and they were all curious. Following Adon and Hawa, an orchard appeared in front of the netizens, and fruit trees with different fruits stood tall. But among them, the most eye-catching are the two trees in the middle of the orchard. One of the trees has a strange shape. It grows by the river. It has ten branches as a whole. Nine branches hang down. One of them grows upward. The tree bears orange fruits like strawberries. The other is like an apple tree, with pink fruit like apples on it. At this time, Hawa ran towards the fruit tree with strawberries. She and Adon had both eaten the fruit tree. Not only was it delicious, but her body felt very comfortable, so she was going to continue picking a few fruits to eat. But at this time, a black snake climbed up another tree, which caught her attention, and her eyes also turned to the apple-like fruit. She has never eaten this fruit. She walked to the tree and drove away the black snake with a stone. The tree was not tall, it was two or three heads taller than her, and Hawa had a smile on her face, and she stretched out her hand and easily plucked a fruit. Beside him, Adon looked dazed, frightened, and cautious, while Wa, who picked the fruit, smiled, looking very relaxed and happy. There is a sharp contrast between the two, and the picture seems to freeze turning into an epic giant painting. This is. Hundreds of netizens watching this scene, including Father Charlie, were all taken aback. This epic picture made them a little shocked. And. These two actors have such vivid expressions. Yeah, the acting is very real, just like it's not acting, it's a real scene. Awesome. The entrance is sweet. After Hawa ate the fruit, she also picked one for Adam. Adam hesitated for a moment, and finally ate the fruit. Not long after eating, the two experienced a series of changes under the surprised eyes of netizens. The turbid eyes of the two gradually became clear and bright, just like the eyes of an old man became the eyes of a baby, and the change was very obvious. But it is this change that makes netizens even more dumbfounded. Really? This is too exaggerated. Oscar winner. The eyes of these two people changed from turbid to clear. The process of this change is extremely clear, real to exaggerated. This kind of exaggerated change in eyes is also acted out. Unbelievable emotions emerged in the hearts of everyone. Adon and Hawa, who ate the fruit, became clear for a while. Originally, their minds were ignorant and pure like children but suddenly they became a lot smarter and wanted to understand a lot of things, but because of this, they were contaminated with some things. It's like changing from a child to an adult, you you reading www.uuganchu.com Some thoughts that children should not have, they will also have it, such as The two who became wise, looked at each other's naked body at this time, and then looked at their own naked body, and suddenly felt a sense of shame. I'm going to find something to cover. Hava, whose articulation became clear, said in a panic. She ran to a fruit tree, stretched out her hand and began to break the branches, trying to cover her body with leaves. Looking at the two people with realistic acting skills, netizens sighed for a while, and the comments in the comment area also flashed one by one. It's so real. However, it's just a fruit, is it so powerful? What brand of fruit is this, please give me a dozen. I was dreaming upstairs. If I guessed correctly, the two fruit trees are of great origin. One should be the tree of life, and the other is the tree of discernment between good and evil. Someone is suspicious. What is the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil? The tree of life is not clear, but I know a little about the tree of discernment between good and evil. It is called the tree of knowledge and the tree of wisdom. We have also seen the effects of its fruit. And this fruit also has a familiar name. I think everyone should know it. 
it is the forbidden fruit. Eve eats the forbidden fruit, is it familiar? Tisk tisk, fortunately, it's something in the movie. If it exists in reality, it shouldn't be smashed by others. It seems to be responding to them, and the explanation sound that has not appeared for a long time continues to appear. Adon and Hawa, who ate the fruit of wisdom, suddenly understood shame, but their actions were also detected by vague and unknown beings, ambiguous, unknown, exist. God? Netizens were startled, stared at the picture nervously, and held their breath subconsciously. Hawa, who was covered in leaves, felt fear in their hearts, because they ate something from God and had to be afraid. In a panic, the two tried to hide. Soon, panic appeared on their faces, as if they were directly discovered by some existence. What surprised the netizens was that what followed was like a pantomime. In the movie, there were only the movements and voices of the two of them, and the unknown voices did not appear at all. It's so weird. How is this going? They are puzzled. It seemed that he was facing an inquiries from unknown existences, but Adam defended in fear, Hawa gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Adon, who is no longer simple, has learned to shirk responsibility unknowingly. Hawa also panicked, her eyes dodged, and she said instinctively, I just ate a snake that tempted me. Wa, who knew good and evil, even learned to shirk and even lie. The transformation of Adon and Hawa surprised netizens. Is this the fall? Then they saw the panic on the faces of Adon and the two, God, we don't want to leave. They seem to be facing the expulsion of God. An explanation sound appeared. Under the expulsion of the unknown existence called God, Adon and Hawa had no other choice but to leave this carefree place. Netizens stared blankly at the picture, watching Adon and Hawa reluctantly walked out of the orchard and headed for the foot of the mountain. Humans were expelled from the Garden of Eden like this? They have already recognized what this place is, and it must be the legendary Garden of Eden. Everyone felt a little pity. Adon and Hawa walked for a long time, and they came to another short hill nearby and began to settle on it. Time passed, a year passed and the two gave birth to their first child, Father Charlie and others saw that the picture changed rapidly, but they didn't care, they thought it was normal until. Time continues to pass, 200 years have passed, and the two have given birth to nearly a hundred children, in the blink of an eye, there was a group of prehistoric humans on the small hill. Netizens were dazed and shocked. What's the situation? Not to mention the nearly 100 children, just say. 200 years. A comment flashed by quickly, hey, is this too exaggerated? More than 200 years? Not to mention those children, just Adam and Eve, how long can they live? That's right, this movie doesn't tell the truth at all, it's too fake. It really is a movie. Zhang Xian and other hundreds of netizens twitched at the corners of their mouths, expressing speechlessness at this unscientific scene. Of course, some of them have analyzed the reasons. Could this be the effect of the fruit of the tree of life? They were a little surprised when they heard it, and then they remembered that they had neglected another tree. But when they wanted to understand, they were also a little disappointed. Originally I thought this movie was real, but I didn't expect it to be so fake. At this time, the picture slowed down, and the time came to night. Everyone also saw the appearance of Adon and Hawa after 200 years, and they actually only got older. However, their long life does not mean happiness. After leaving the carefree land, the two not only suffered from hunger, but were often attacked by fierce beasts. Although they who have eaten the fruit have different physiques and can survive under the attack of hunger and beasts, their children are not so lucky. At night, if they are unfortunate, their children will be dragged away by the beasts, and the screams make netizens numb their scalps. Adon and Hawa were heartbroken and tried every way to see the child die again and again, and they made a decision. On a certain morning, Adon and the two gathered everyone to prepare for a grand sacrifice. This is to ask God for help. A wise man immediately thought of it. Sure enough, 
the explanation sounded in the next second. Intimidated by the cold of the night and the beasts, Adam and Hava looked at the dead children and decided to hold sacrifices to ask God for help, hoping that God would have mercy on them and come to bless them. Under the leadership of Adon and Hawa, they found an open space in the high mountains, and then brought a group of people to kneel on the ground and prayed towards the sky. God! Adam shouted. But just when netizens were curious about what the mysterious God was and whether it would respond to the coming, the screen of the movie suddenly went black, and it turned out to be, over. Netizens were stunned. Even if there was an unscientific thing about living a few hundred years ago, the realism of the movie still deeply attracted them. So when I saw that the movie was gone, one by one suddenly yelled at each other. Damn it, what the is this? It's gone. Damn. What about the back? It's gone at a critical time, why is it so short? Dog. My God, where is this production company? I'm going to file a protest. Fake. The comment area completely exploded, and one person started scolding the street. Even Father Charlie, who was watching very seriously, frowned at this moment, feeling that the film company went too far. Some netizens commented worriedly, this movie won't end like this, will it? Someone retorted, this movie is obviously not finished yet. There must be more later. Agree. The time came to 8 o'clock in the evening. Netizens who watched the nearly Tahur movie were in high spirits while scolding the street. With the thought of sharing and letting people suffer together, they directly started Amway's original network. After a dozen stories, more and more people from all over the world paid attention to this unremarkable website, and then went in curiously and started watching the movie. The process is similar to that of other netizens. Apart from wondering what the mysterious is, they are more amazed at the truth of the movie, and the end of the scolding. Many people came in, and some people noticed something wrong with this website. UU reading www.uugonshu.com for example, people from all over the world can click on this website, ignoring the network blocking walls of various countries. And this website can also automatically translate languages, so that people from all over the world have no barriers to viewing and communicating. If this is the case, at most people will be amazed at the power of the translation software and sigh about the black technology. But, as the matter of prehistoric relics has reached the top of the hot search list, more and more people know about it. Some people have noticed that the last scene of this movie is surprisingly similar to the last mural of the prehistoric ruins. This is horrifying. 11 in the evening. In a temporary station near the prehistoric ruins, in a big tent that was just set up, Professor Chen with grey hair was looking up the materials. Professor. Professor. Cries came from outside. Professor Chen, who looked down at the ancient books, hoping to find some clues of prehistoric relics in the ancient books, frowned upon hearing this. Didn't I say don't disturb me? Zhang Ha ran in with the laptop in his hand and eagerly handed it over. Professor, look at this. Professor Chen looked intently, and a picture was playing on his laptop. It was the last scene of Adon and Hua leading a group of people to hold a sacrifice. This is... Professor Chen was puzzled at first, and then a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. This scene is actually very similar to the scene on the third prehistoric mural. And if you look closely at the third mural, there are two leading people in it, and they are also a man and a woman in appearance. Some sacrificial arrangements on the prehistoric murals also correspond one by one with the video images in front of you. What is this? An exclamation sounded. Professor, this is a movie from a website called Origin.com. Zhang Hao then explained it in detail. After Professor Chen listened to the cause and effect, he fell into deep thought. Coincide. No matter how much he thought about it, he might as well watch the movie in person. With a solemn expression on his face, he pulled the progress bar to the front and started watching directly. At this time, some people who heard Zhang Hao's exclamation and came in also stood behind and watched curiously. 
This movie is so realistic. At the beginning, they were amazed for a while. When the names Adan and Hawa appeared, others were still puzzled, but Professor Chen, a prehistoric archaeologist, had already recognized them one step ahead. Adam and Eve. He was a little surprised. Then the appearance of the Garden of Eden surprised them even more, especially the two strange fruit trees, they couldn't even see that they were synthesized by computer. Professor, why does this tree grow so strange? Asked a young man named Yu Rui behind Professor Chen. This should be the tree of life and wisdom. Professor Chen replied. Watching the two ate the forbidden fruit, and then explaining the unknown existence that appeared in the voice, that is, God, directly made them puzzled. What exactly is the in this movie? Afterwards, watching Adan and Hawa move to another hill, watching them live more than 200 years and gave birth to nearly 100 children, almost all the people present shook their heads. Like everyone else, they were moved by the realism of the movie, and suddenly felt a sense of being out of the play. Professor is so fake, how can people live so long? The young and beautiful Ye Ying pouted. Professor Chen also frowned slightly, but after thinking about it, he suddenly remembered something and did not deny it immediately. At this time, the comment area of UNUN.com started to quarrel with each other because of whether people could live that long. Professor Chen paused the movie, and the others turned their attention to the comment area. A netizen named It's Hard to Pick a Name commented, This movie is so unreal, tisk tisk, I'm blind to such an excellent picture quality. That's right. Originally, it had a sense of reality and history, but it was shattered in the end. It's too mysterious. Agree. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but comments that maliciously belittled the movie quickly began to swipe the screen. Professor Chen frowned, and with the movement of his fingers, he was about to say something. However, someone spoke ahead of him. Brave Nayuniu, I don't know what you think, how do you know it's impossible? Let me tell you. During this time, I checked some materials and found some very interesting things. In the Western Bible, it is clearly recorded that Adam and Eve and his children are very long-lived, and it is easy to be eight or nine hundred years old. Not only in the West, but even in the East, we have similar records. According to the records of the classic of mountains and seas, we have a place called Xian Yuan Kingdom in ancient times in the East. When Xian Yuan State was in this poor mountain, its life expectancy was 800 years old. In the north of the women's state, it had a human face and a snake body, and its tail was placed on its head. The translation is that Xian Yuan country is near the poor mountain, and people who don't live here can live to be 800 years old. They are in the north of the women's country, they have the face of a human, the body of a snake, and their tails are tied around their heads. Is it similar to the half-human? Half snake image of the legendary Fuxi Nuwa? I suspect that Xian Yuan Kingdom is the place in the movie, and those citizens are the children of Eve and Eve. With the appearance of this long comment, tens of millions of netizens read it carefully, and their faces all showed shock. Zhang Hao and others also looked surprised. But soon, the person whose name was really difficult to name, immediately refuted. Are you joking? Fuxi and Nuwa are half human and half snake, but Adan and Hawa in this movie are normal. How do you explain this? Netizens were puzzled. Brave Nayuniu, humph, people in ancient times had different concepts from us. Snakes are not necessarily snakes, they may be similar in appearance, or they may represent something. It's like Fuxi and Nuwa's twin tailed entanglement diagram. Isn't it very similar to our modern DNA double helix structure? As soon as this statement came out, netizens immediately silenced and marveled at the vast knowledge of the brave Niu Niu. But if you think about it carefully, it's really very similar. And the Chinese are also known as the descendants of the dragon. Very thoughtful. The source of all this, through this movie, we all know that it has something to do with the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, that is, the tree of God. Let's not talk about the mysterious God, let's talk about the mountain and the tree of life. 
Brave Nayuniu then said something even more frightening. Everyone knows that the first mountain is the Garden of Eden, right? In the biblical record, the Garden of Eden is surrounded by four rivers. At the beginning of the movie, everyone has seen the general view of the mountain from a high altitude, which is no different from the biblical record. What I want to say here is that there is also a place recorded in the classic of mountains and seas, the land of gods. It is the Kunlun Mountains. According to the description of ancient books, Kunlun Mountain is also surrounded by four rivers. There is a tree of life in the Garden of Eden that prolongs people's life, and there is a forbidden fruit that people are forbidden to eat. There is also something in Kunlun Mountain that prolongs people's life and prohibits people from eating privately, that is. Peach. A stone stirred up a thousand waves. His. Netizens gasped and were shocked. The Garden of Eden is Mount Kunlun? Another terrifying place to ponder, is there really a sacred mountain in prehistoric times? At the end, we have to mention one thing, is what is shown in this movie real or fake? Not only is it incredibly real, but even the final scene of the movie is very similar to the frescoes we recently unearthed from the prehistoric ruins. Is all this really a coincidence? The last question is, if this is true, what are the prehistoric human beings sacrificing at the end of the movie? Then what is the god? Aliens? Or are there really gods? Netizens couldn't help but fall into contemplation. The more they recalled the mysterious in the movie, the more fearful they became, and their scalps even felt numb. Are human beings really created by God? Is there really an omniscient and almighty God watching over mankind? Netizens were shocked, and even Professor Chen was a little stunned at this meeting. If what happened in the movie really happened in prehistory, then the source of human birth seems to be able to be explained. Creationism? I created humans? Still watching them. So key mouth twitched, no. These netizens have all kinds of brains, and he almost believed what they said. Not to mention that it is impossible for the deduction to become a reality, just to say that Adon and Hava were not created by him, and even the Garden of Eden was just a mountain surrounded by four rivers that he recalled from the Bible he had read. It's just that people think too much. But those two strange trees. Thinking of the Tree of Life and the Tree of Wisdom, so frowned. In the deduction world, his body shape is a bit special, because he often stays on the top of the mountain, it seems that he is affected by the radiation magnetic field around him, etc., and the two trees have mutated. After discovering this, he also looked for some other fruit tree species to see if they could be affected and mutated, but he was very disappointed, and it didn't turn out as he wished. It seems like the ability of the system, the world has countless possibilities at every moment, and the birth of the two trees is a certain possibility. After that, he didn't continue his research, because those two kinds of fruits were completely ineffective for his high-dimensional body, and they couldn't be brought to reality. Hold on. So key eyes lit up, I haven't tried it yet, how do I know I can't bring it out? In an instant, an idea popped up in his mind and he was going to try it out the next time he played. If it is really possible, it will make a lot of money, and maybe it will have some effect on his cancer. Thinking about it, he thought of a strange place. That prehistoric mural, is it really a coincidence? Su Chi thought of Adon, Hawa, and others who were praying before the end of the last game, hoping that he would come and bless him. While Su Chi was waiting for the rehearsal, Yuan Yuan also caused a lot of waves in the society. Some people who were fascinated by it went to Kunlun Mountain and started to look for the Tree of Life and Wisdom. After all, longevity and wisdom, these are things that humans dream of, even if there is only a little possibility that it really exists, it is worth taking action. The time soon came to more than 8 in the morning, and the cooling time of the game was refreshed. The golden sunshine came and Su Chi picked up the phone and checked the time. After confirming that the game time had been refreshed, he said, Start the game. Under your will, the deduction begins again, prehistoric civilization. The deduction continues. The prompt sound appeared, 
and so Ki eyes flashed. There are lush trees, birds and beasts chanting constantly, and Adam and Hawa and others who are praying in the sky. My body was aching all the time because of cancer, but as I entered the game, that feeling disappeared instantly. And, at this time, he is floating in the air. During the deduction, he can come according to the image he imagined. Apart from making himself illusory so that people can't see him, it's like floating, which is just a trifle. Of course, none of this can change. Although he is called a by Adam and others, he does not have the power of a god, so. Be careful next, you must not reveal anything. The next thing will definitely be uploaded as a movie by the system. If any abnormality is exposed, and it will be seen through by humans all over the world in the movie, then it will really be dead. Several dozen meters in the air, Su Chi frowned slightly as he looked at Adon and the others who were praying, hoping that he would descend and bless him. How to do this? I'm not a true god, so where can I have the ability to bless? God, the beasts and the cold are attacking us, please bless us and help us, help your son. Adon shouted anxiously. Adon, the first human ancestor who thinks he is the son of God, seeks the help of the Heavenly Father and God, and prays for the Father who is the to help him who is the son, a beep sounded. Son. Su Chi was taken aback. Just when you were stunned, Adam and the others who couldn't wait for your arrival for a long time gradually became anxious. There was an altar in the center of the open space, and some dead beasts were placed on it and the crowd of Adon knelt down in front of the altar. The eldest son Gobel, who was kneeling behind Adon Hawa, slowly showed hesitation on his face. Although he has never seen God, he has heard some things about God from his father and mother over the years. He is naturally curious about the mysterious and irresistible God. It's just that he couldn't help thinking that he couldn't wait for God's response for a long time. Does God really exist? The younger brother Havel, who was kneeling beside him, was different, his face was full of anxiety and fear. Because of their sin, is God unwilling to forgive father and them? In his heart, he thought that God existed, but God did not come, probably because of the wrong things his father and mother did. Time passed, and despair slowly crept into Adam's face. At this time, Su Chi in the air also regained his senses. Looking at Adon, who was about to despair, he couldn't help shaking his head. He has almost come up with a solution for what Adon is asking for, and that is fire. But, how should I explain to Dan the principle of frictional heat generation? Although I can communicate with my mind in my high-dimensional state at the moment, it is a bit difficult to talk too much. However, seeing Adon and the others who were about to despair, Su Chi thought it would be better to stabilize them first and show a wave. He began to imagine that a ray of light appeared nearby. He was so desperate that he thought that the gods had given up their Hawa and others. Suddenly, they were stunned, and then Chi Chi couldn't help screaming. Straws of holy light flashed in the sky above, mixed with golden sunlight, sacred and dazzling, like the aurora, and like the sun came to the world. Miracle! Exclamations appeared. God. The eldest son Gobeler was shocked. There really is a God. Although God did not appear, this miracle alone can prove everything. The younger brother Havel was also shocked. Looking at the colorful light, he couldn't help but have a fantasy, and subconsciously looked at the sun above. Then shouldn't the sun be the incarnation of God? God is shining and watching us every day, and giving us warmth. Just when they were surprised, Su Chi in the sky became distressed. How should I tell them? You are in distress, but this does not depress you, because you find that in addition to communicating with your mind, you can also transmit information within your mind, and you gradually become proud and complacent, Su Chi. Damn complacent! However, although this narration made people want to complain, it reminded him. Thinking of it, Doing it, Su Chi recalled the knowledge of friction and heat generation in his head, as well as the memory of drilling wood to make fire and hitting rocks to make fire, 
and then tried to communicate with Adan and Hawa just like mental communication. The next moment, the two Adan, who were at the forefront, only felt as if a white light appeared in their minds, and their bodies were bathed in brilliance, feeling extremely close to God. Then all of a sudden, a bunch of inexplicable pictures and knowledge poured into their minds. This is. The two of them just checked their memories for a while, and they were instantly stunned by the knowledge. Can friction generate heat? Drilling wood for fire? Hit the stone to make fire? Fire? Looking at the pictures and memories of fire, the two became more and more surprised. Fantastic! This is absolutely divine. It is a divine artifact given to mankind by God. Adam and the two looked moved. Gobble and the others stared blankly at the excited father and mother, wondering what happened to them and how they became so excited. At this time, the light in the sky gradually faded away, as if God had left. After waiting for a while, everyone got up. Father and mother, what's going on? The eldest son Gobble asked hurriedly. Hawa and Adan glanced at each other, Chi Chi showed a smile, and then, under the suspicious eyes of everyone, they began to find things on the mountain. Relying on the knowledge in their minds, the two found some flints on the mountain, and some flammables such as leaves, and then, under the suspicious eyes of the children, they started to fight with each other. Bang bang! Mars is flying! Ah! This scene startled Gobble and the others. The sparks fell on the leaves, and immediately eroded away a few black spots, and fine smoke appeared. As the flint was hit continuously, more and more sparks fell, the smoke gradually rose, and then a mass of orangered flames rose. Gobble and the others stepped back again and again, looking terrified. What is this, father and mother? Habel said in a panic. This is fire. Hawa adored her face, and then explained, this is a sacred object bestowed by God during the sacrifice just now. The more they explained, the more surprised Gobble and others became, especially after feeling the fire in person, they were so shocked. Adon and their children agreed that this is something that God specially gave to human beings. Otherwise, how could this wonderful thing that can bring light, heat and erratic appear in the world, and how could it be used by humans? People control. They felt that this must be because God had mercy on them, so things like fire appeared in the world. So she listened to the prompting sound, the corners of her mouth twitched slightly, sighing at their brain supplement. Darkness enveloped the earth, and night soon came. Because of the cold and beasts, everyone who had already crowded into the cave would look in shock at the direction of the cave entrance. I saw a fire burning at the entrance of the cave, the light dispelling the darkness, and also stopping the beasts with green eyes in the darkness. The rustling sound kept ringing, but they just didn't dare to go forward. Is this the power of God? Habel murmured. At this moment, there was nothing but admiration on his face. Not only him, but the others were not doing much better at this time, they were all shocked and adored. The image of God's omnipotence began to form in their hearts. Even the fire that is bestowed has this kind of power, it is hard to imagine how powerful God is. The beep continues. The fire dispelled the chill and beasts, and while bringing warmth to humans, it also allowed them to eat cooked food. An animal that died under the fire made Adon and others discover the deliciousness of cooked food. Before long, the scene flashed by again. Another hundred years passed, and the cave gradually became too crowded, so they began to move out. Su Chi watched Adon and the others move out of the cave. With the help of fire and the stone tools they invented, they took root in a large area on the mountain. In the process, they also learned to build houses. After the days settled down a bit, Adam suddenly smiled and said to his sons, in order to show our respect to God, let's build a high altar on the top of the mountain, shall we? What should it be like? Habel asked suspiciously. Let me think about it. Adam fell into deep thought. Not only to express his respect for God, but also to have some feelings of admiration for himself, so he thought about it for a long time, 
and it was not until noon three days later that he came up with a satisfactory answer. On this day, he called his sons together and said to them, Since God lives on a high mountain, and there are four rivers on the mountain, in order to commemorate God, let's build a high mountain with four altars. Hava, Gobal, and others naturally have no opinion. They are full of respect for God, and naturally they don't mind doing more for God. They began to build altars on the top of the mountain. Su Chi looked amused, shook his head, and didn't pay much attention. However, when the building was gradually erected, he was stunned. I saw that this building was square, with layers up. It turned out to be a pyramid. Pyramid. Su Chi looked surprised. Although this pyramid is a bit rough and very small, the overall shape of the pyramid can be recognized at a glance. Pyramids, a strange structure found all over the world. The first pyramid was actually built by Adam. Thinking about it this way, there are so many pyramids in later generations, and there is an explanation. As the ancestor of human beings, Aden's influence is naturally there. It seems to be a very normal thing for his descendants to continue this style of architecture and spread it to all parts of the world. Egyptian Pyramids The Mayan Pyramids Various pyramids all over the world. Why do humans build so many pyramids? They built these for me. So Key Scalp was a little numb. Is this a coincidence? He silently watched Adon and others build the pyramid altar, and then held a grand sacrifice. During the sacrifice, everyone had a happy smile on their faces. At this moment, the scene in front of me quickly blurred, and a prompt sound appeared. Time continues to pass, and soon another hundred years will pass. As the population gradually increased, Adam fell into distress, because there was not enough food, there were fewer and fewer beasts around, and hunting became more and more difficult, seeing those people who lost weight and were full and hungry. Su Chi frowned slightly. At noon one summer, Adam really had no choice. After hesitating for a long time, he decided to ask God for help. There are no clouds in the sky, the scorching sun hangs high above the head, and there is not even a single bird in the high temperature. The four people in front of the pyramid altar were sweating profusely, but they didn't care at all. Instead, they looked at the pyramid altar very seriously. Adonhawa appeared here with his eldest son Gable and his second son Hebel, while the others did not follow and waited at the foot of the mountainside. Because besides wanting to pray to God this time, Hawa has another careful thought, which is to hope that their two sons can be recognized by God. For a long time, apart from communicating with the two of them, God has never communicated with anyone else, which made them very terrified. Does not God recognize their children? If they die, what will humans do in the future? Without God, will mankind perish? So they were terrified and hoped that through this opportunity, Gobel and Habel would be recognized by God. At this moment, Adon knelt down in front of the altar and shouted, O oh all-powerful, all-knowing God, please give us a little revelation, and keep that hunger away from us. Saying that, he respectfully took the three deer placed them on the flat top of the pyramid, slaughtered them and set them on fire after bloodletting. The fire burns and devours the sacrifice. Seeing these three deer enough for more than a dozen clansmen to eat for a day, Adon did not feel distressed at all, but worried that the offerings would not be enough. God certainly doesn't care about sacrifices, but they can't help but express it. Floating above the altar, looking at the burning deer, Su Chi was expressionless and didn't care much about the so-called sacrifices. Glancing at Adon, Hawa, and Gobel and Habel, he also knew their intentions. Food is also easy to solve, as long as you breed grazing animals and cultivate. He didn't intend to communicate with them. After a little pondering, he directly transmitted the knowledge about these two types to Adon and Hawa. Once again, the two who felt bathed in brilliance, and then a series of knowledge popped up in their minds, felt stunned again. Livestock? Farming? Although they never thought about this kind of behavior, but after a little association, they knew the feasibility, and they couldn't help but look shocked. 
father and mother, what's wrong? The younger brother Hebel asked curiously just now God gave us knowledge, animal husbandry, and farming knowledge. Adon explained excitedly. Livestock? Farming. Hebel and the two were puzzled. Then, Hawa explained it again, and then there were two more people who were stunned. As expected of a who knows everything, the difficulties of our human beings are solved so easily, and it is a solution we have never thought of. Hebel was full of admiration. Like his father and mother, he quickly analyzed the feasibility of these two methods, and couldn't help but marvel at God's omniscience. The elder brother Gobler next to him is similar, but unlike his younger brother, he has more reverence for God in his heart. The omnipotent God made him feel fear. Although God has never appeared, it is this sense of mystery that makes this fear even stronger. Next, Adam and Dan's attempt to get their sons to be approved by God failed because God never responded. This made them both apprehensive and frightened. In the end, Hawa forced a smile and said, God has given two methods, it must be some kind of approval. She comforted Adam and her two sons. After hearing this, they thought about it, their eyes lit up slightly, and then heaved a sigh of relief, but they were not so panicked. After that, Adon slowly passed the two methods to his two sons. The eldest son mainly studies farming, and the younger son mainly studies animal husbandry. Based on the knowledge in their minds, Adon and others began to look for animals and plants that could be used as livestock. When they were developing, Su Chi had already flown back to the Garden of Eden. Looking at the top of the mountain where there are no beasts due to the magnetic field and so on, he shook his head. Floating towards the center of the orchard, hovering on the water, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com looked at the Tree of Life. It has ten branches as a whole, nine branches hang down, and one of them grows upwards, which is very strange. After a long period of time, the fruits of the Tree of Life that have been picked have already grown, each branch is hanging down, and the fruits are gradually rounded. The whole body is orang eagled like ten suns hanging from the branches. You think they are beautiful, and you have evil thoughts in your heart, and you want to pick one and taste it. So Key Mouth twitched. This narration and evil thoughts. Unfortunately, they are ineffective for my body when I deduce. So Chi had some regrets, so he could only pack them all up when the game was about to end, and try to see if they could be transported back, ahem. He was very curious. Adam and Hawa became wise after eating only one fruit of wisdom. What would happen if they in the real world ate a bunch of them? And although there are only ten fruits of the tree of life, each one can prolong life. Can they cure cancer? Can't you delay any longer? Forget it, let's talk about it when the game is over. Just as he finished pondering, he suddenly found that the scene in front of him became blurred again. Time has passed. Another two hundred years have passed, in the blink of an eye, the trees in front of him became taller and more luxuriant. Su Chi. Shaking his head, he decided to go see what happened to Adam and the others two hundred years later. The illusory body floated up from the water and flew towards the short hill in the distance. After a long time, something will eventually change. Adon and Hawa, who have eaten the fruit of the tree of life, are no longer young and become a little old. Su Chi floated in the air, saw people almost all over the mountainside, and could not help but silently observe. At this moment, his eyes turned to one direction, where the two Gobel brothers were talking. The younger brother Hebel just came back from herding sheep, wiped the sweat from his forehead, and said to his brother with a sunny smile, Tomorrow is our sacrifice time again, brother, are your sacrifices ready? Since that time, the two of Adon have handed over the sacrifice work to them, hoping that in this way, the gods can watch them more for a while, and then they will love them a little bit. Therefore, the sacrifices that followed were all performed by them. With a piece of grass in his mouth, Gobler was stunned for a moment and replied vaguely, MMMM, ready. And you? I prepared three firstborn lambs and some fat, I think God will like it. Habel said happily. Oh. Gobel replied casually, 
thinking that his younger brother was really stupid. God definitely doesn't care about sacrifices, why waste so much food on sacrifices? And after so many years, the gods who sacrificed to them have never shown signs, so they definitely don't care about their sacrifices. This brother also wastes such good things every time, so stupid. Wouldn't those things be better for the tribe? Early the next morning, the sky was overcast and dark clouds covered the sky, but this did not hinder the two brothers' sacrifice. The younger brother Havel washed and tidy early, and with three lambs and some sheep's grease, he was about to rush towards the pyramid altar on the top of the mountain. The elder brother Gobble yawned and looked at the younger brother who hurried towards the mountain after urging him, and then he remembered that he had forgotten the sacrifice. He hurried back to the house, picked up a stone knife and ran towards the field. As soon as he arrived in the field, he would bend over to cut some of his own grain for sacrifice. But at this time, he saw that there was no one around, and subconsciously looked at Hagu of someone else's house next door, and rolled his eyes. Rather than cutting one's own, it is better to cut some other people's. Taking advantage of the fact that no one was around, he inconspicuously cut a little in each field, and soon gathered a large amount of grain. Then, he picked some wild fruits and hurried to the top of the mountain. Su Chi, who was floating in the air, frowned slightly, and he clearly saw this scene. Havel, who was waiting anxiously on the top of the mountain, was relieved to see his brother running up with the grain and some fruits. Let's start. He smiled. Near the altar of the pyramid, there were two more small altars. Havel hurriedly put three lambs on it and slaughtered them with a stone knife. Blood has infected the small altar. He poured the good grease onto the altar again, then lit the altar, and the flames engulfed the sacrifice. The fragrance of burning fat wafts everywhere. Then Havel knelt on the ground with a pious face. As soon as he put the sacrifice on the stage, Gobler turned his head and saw his younger brother's actions. He didn't care about it, and pouted. Anyway, every sacrifice is the same, is it necessary to be so solemn, God will not care anyway. He picked up the flint, and was about to strike it and set it on fire. Su Chi, who was floating above the pyramid, frowned at Gobble's actions. This man has problems with his behavior and attitude. He thought about whether to interrupt this man's sacrifice. It's just that if you want to make a move, you obviously have to show signs. This is really a little troublesome. If something is exposed in the movie later, it will be troublesome. He was hesitating on this side, seeing that Gobler had just lit a fire, and before the flames engulfed the sacrifice, a gust of wind suddenly blew. Phew the strong wind not only blew out the flames that had just ignited, but also scattered offerings such as grain. My sacrifice. Gobler looked flustered. The offerings are flying everywhere. Gobble looked terrified, what's wrong, how can this happen? If it was just like this, he wouldn't think too much. At most, he thought that the weather was bad today and it was just a matter of luck, but as the next scene happened, his face froze completely. As the strong wind blew, the dark clouds in the sky also moved a little bit, and a gap was exposed, and a ray of golden light fell from the sky, just illuminating the surroundings of my brother's altar. The flames burning on the altar looked a little sacred under the sunlight. Without doing anything, Su Chi was hesitating. Looking at the sun, Brother Gobler couldn't believe it. The younger brother Havel looked shocked, followed by surprise. Miracle! He exclaimed in a small voice. God answered me. He looked happy. He was excited here, but he didn't see his brother's gloomy face. If it was nothing but the overturning of the sacrifice, this miraculous golden light seemed to explain something. God chose his brother's sacrifice, not his sacrifice. Why? What good is Havel's offerings, why can they be accepted by God? Looking at his excited younger brother, his face was distorted, and his heart was full of jealousy. He was not reconciled. God, who has not responded for a long time, has responded, but it has nothing to do with him. Why, why should Havel be valued by God? 
Gobel, who was caught in jealousy, never thought about what was wrong with his behavior and attitude before. He just felt that it was because of his younger brother that his sacrifice was not chosen by God. At the same time, at this moment, he felt that his status was threatened. Yu Yu reading www.yukanshu Come in the past 200 years, not only the population but also the people's hearts have changed. Due to the frequent sacrifices, the gods have not responded. Because of the sacrifices, the ethnic group has been divided into two forces with the two of them as the center. One feels that gods don't care about sacrifices, there is no need to waste too many resources on sacrifices, and it's fine to do a little bit of it. The other believes that God is supreme, and that it is entirely up to God to have the present life, and should not do such acts of insulting God, and should offer the best sacrifices to God, so as to be pleasing to God. The two forces have been maintaining very well before, but now that God has responded, this state will definitely no longer exist. The premise of all this is that God did not respond. Since God responded, it must be that Havel's behavior is more pleasing to God, and other people will naturally change their behavior. His status as the eldest son will definitely be shaky after this time. It's just that he is unwilling. What he is even more jealous of is that Havel actually got a response from God. Why doesn't God like him? In spite of jealousy, he said to Havel on the way back after the sacrifice, after we go back, let's go to the fields. I have something to tell you. The younger brother Havel didn't think much, but there was still joy on his face, don't worry, brother, I will go. The two walked down the top of the mountain. Su Chi looked at their backs, still thinking about the inexplicable scene before. I didn't do anything, did I? A gust of wind blew the sacrifice and sprinkled it. The dark clouds were also blown away, and the sun just fell. The corners of his mouth twitched. That coincidental scene, let alone Havel, if he didn't know that he didn't do it, he would probably think he did it himself. In a remote and quiet, empty field, Gobeler stood here and waited. Not long after, he saw his brother running over with a smile on his face. Brother, are you looking for me for something? Havel, who was still immersed in God's response, didn't notice anything wrong. He said cheerfully, let's go and tell our father and mother about God's response later, they will be happy. Not only was Gobble unhappy when he heard this, but he was even more aware that his status would not be guaranteed. He roared jealously, why, why would God choose your sacrifice? What's wrong with you, brother? Havel looked stunned. Even if he was slow, he would sense something was wrong. Looking at his innocent-looking younger brother, Gobel became more and more angry. Unable to hold back, he punched his brother hard in the face. What? Havel screamed and fell directly to the ground. Gobel pressed down on him and punched him down. The screams kept ringing, and Havel kept begging for mercy from his brother. Gobel, who was wrapped in anger and jealousy, didn't listen at all. He even saw a stone on the ground in anger and jealousy, so he picked it up and smashed it at his brother's head. Boom! After a muffled sound, the morning stopped, and Havel, who was lying on the ground with blood on his head, gradually lost his voice. It was only then that Gobble realized what he had done. He shook his younger brother in fear, and when he realized that he really didn't respond, he jumped up in fright. What did I do? I killed my brother. Shrouded in fear, he subconsciously took a few steps backwards. No, no, I didn't mean to. Gobbler fell into a trance, muttering to himself, as if begging for forgiveness. It's just that he didn't realize that he was in fear. Although he was very scared to kill his younger brother, there was a deep hidden secret in his heart. In other words, he chose this remote place, and there was a vague evil idea in his mind, but he didn't expect it to actually happen. The sky was overcast with dark clouds. Boom! The thunder sounded, and a dazzling electric light flashed. Boom boom boom! Gobeler looked up at the sky. The flashing thunder seemed to be God's anger, 
angering his actions. No, no, it's not my fault, God, I didn't mean to kill him. He hugged his head and screamed. While screaming, he ran away from here in fright, leaving only Havel whose body slowly became cold. Not long after he arrived, Su Chi, who saw all this, was no longer expressionless, and sighed slightly. With the roar of thunder, a torrential rain fell. At the same time, the prompt sounded. Gobel killed Havel. This was the first murder, the beginning of sin, and the first struggle between kingship and theocracy. Su Chi, who was frowning, couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. There is nothing in front. What do you mean by kingship and theocracy in the back? He wondered for a while, and then he thought of something. The previous sacrifices of Gobel and Havel should be the prototype of theocracy and kingship. One thinks that he doesn't care about sacrifices, there is no need to waste too many resources on sacrifices, but should be used for development. A person who thinks that he is everything, that all good things happen thanks to his shelter, and at the same time, he should sacrifice himself with the best things and want to be recognized. Su Chi remembered that in the East, it seemed that few cultural relics were unearthed to worship gods. They believed in nature and their own power, and seldom relied on gods. The mode is generally dominated by kingship and military power, supplemented by divine power. Do not consume materials and manpower to contribute to God, but use it in production and development. As for the West, the opposite is true. After trying to understand some things, Su Chi shook his head slightly, looked at the dead Havel, and thought about how to deal with this matter. In the end, he thought about it and decided to leave this matter to Dan. A Dan, who was hiding in the house to shelter from the rain with his wife, looked at the gloomy sky and felt a little uneasy for some reason. At this moment, he felt as if he had fallen into a ray of light, and was very close to the Almighty God. Is God. Before he could be surprised, a happy smile appeared on his face, and a series of pictures appeared. Havel fell to the ground. With a grim face, Gable raised the stone in his hand and smashed it down. Havel died. Havel. Adam cried out sadly. Hava next to him looked at him worriedly. Adon didn't doubt the authenticity of the matter at all, he rushed out in the rain in shock and anger. It didn't take long for him to find Gobel at home. Where did your brother go? He asked straight to the point. Gobel had done bad things in the first place, and he immediately panicked in the face of his father's sudden intrusion and questioning. With a pale face, he said in a panic, I'm not guarding him, so how do I know where he went? Your brother is bleeding all over the place, he is howling, accusing you of killing him. Adon said sadly. No, no. I didn't. Gobble was completely panicked. Under the stunned eyes of Wa, who ran behind Adam, and his wife in the room, he was so frightened that he stepped back again and again, his face full of horror. Adon said indifferently, God let me know everything. Gobler was completely panicked, and he stepped back again and again, knocking down a lot of objects along the way. God, God knows. He he, that's right. Eh who knows everything, how could he not know? Gobble smiled miserably and his expression collapsed. Not only because they were known by their father, but also because God also knew. He slumped on the ground and cried. I didn't do it on purpose, I didn't do it on purpose, no. He felt regret. Adam's face was sullen. Hawa and Gobble's wife covered their faces with disbelief. Boom, lightning flashes across the sky. Adam looked at the sky absent-mindedly. The thunder in my ears became more and more deafening, as if the gods were angry, and the wind and rain outside the house became more intense, and it seemed that the gods were sad. It didn't take long for the entire group to be shocked. Gobel was actually kicked out of the tribe. With his wife and some followers, he was expelled. Adon stood on the top of the mountain, looking at Gobel, who was expelled from the group and moved with people, his face full of sadness. Su Chi floated in the air nearby, sighing slightly. Suddenly, 
the scenery in front of me blurred for a while, and things changed rapidly. Time passed quickly, and soon more than 300 years passed. Aiden's tribe is getting stronger and stronger, but on the contrary, his life is about to come to an end. Looking at the vicissitudes in front of him, it was fleeting, and Su Chi was almost used to it. It was just the final sound that made him stunned for a moment. Turning around in the air, he began to look for Adam. Soon, he found the person he was looking for in a densely packed wooden house surrounded by a sea of people. Inside a large wooden house. With white hair and wrinkled face, the old and immature Adam lay dying on the wooden bed. Sitting beside the bed was an equally old, tearful Wa. From the house to the outside, the children and grandchildren of the two of them stood, each with sadness on their faces, and crying everywhere. Adan, who was dying in bed, was dying, but his eyes were full of wisdom.